Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we are going to see how to configure external authentication for the FTD firewalls. In this example, today I'm going to use FP2130 firewall model. There are a few things that you need to um, consider before you uh, configure uh, external authentication. There are two ways you can enable the authentication for FTD. One would be LDAP and the other one would be uh, RADIUS. Uh, in the today's session, I'm going to use RADIUS protocol for authentication. So in the Cisco release notes, they mentioned that external authentication is not supported for virtual FTD devices. Also, when you use uh, external authentication through FMC for FTD, there should not need to create multiple authentication objects, whereas you might have already configured to authenticate the FMC console through RADIUS. You can still use the same RADIUS object for your uh, FTD devices also. All you just need to um, select the object that has created for external authentication in under platform settings and deploy to the devices that you wanted to deploy to FTD. And in today's example, I'm going to use radius authentication for FTD. Just for an illustration purpose, you have depiction of the diagram. I have the um, Cisco FTD and Cisco FTD management interface connects to the management network. And I have a PSN node the, as a Cisco IS node. I don't have uh, more than one PSN nodes available in my network. So I'm going to use the same PSN node for all of our purposes. I'm going to use the Cisco IS server for authentication which is also connected to our management network but uh, the management network shows here is common for both the Cisco IIS and the FTD device but in my scenario FTD will be part of a different management network which is I'm going to display and uh, Cisco IIS will be part of a different uh, management network and the client is something where I'm going to test the connectivity as a first step we need to add the FTD device under uh, network devices in your uh, Cisco I server. Go to administration, network devices, under network devices list, add the new device that you wanted to add. Okay. And uh, FTD device IP address was added to 16.10 and then uh, choose the location where it is belongs to and then uh, device type. I have uh, classified the device type already as using devices. And then uh, select the uh, radius authentication. Type the shared secret that you have uh, wanted to assign to this device and then click submit and then in the second step click on the policy results click on the authorization authorization profiles click add name it as ftd cli we are going to enable the cli access for the ftd access type is access accept uh, rest everything is not mandatory so once you come down select radius under radius we have to uh, choose service type as six just type service come down so rest type six that's it click submit after you select the service type as six you need to select the administrative option as well on the right hand side then click save and then in the step three click on policy policy sets if you have already uh, rules covering uh, your network device access you can just select that and uh, add the device policy set that you want to apply for ftd since i have the rule one already covering the network devices access i'm going to choose rule one uh, i'm going to add the uh, for the authorization policy that we have just created for FTD. Click on and then um, select authorization policy under which name I have created that uh, rule already. We just need to name, click on the add symbol, name it, name it as FTD access something similar to what I have here and then click on the plus symbol attribute type we wanted to uh, authenticate through um, a active directory select the active directory and then the device group the ad group where the user wanted to authenticate so I'm going to select this and then say uh, use and then select the authorization policy that you have created in the previous step and then say step 4 click on the settings users and then navigate to external authentication I have a radius authentication object already created I'm just going to use this for, uh, for the explanation this is under firepower management center add authentication method as radius just name it as your wish and then add the primary server ip address secondary server ip address and then uh, administrator group this is not uh, predominant required all you just need to focus on adding the mandatory items which are mentioned as asterisk marks and then uh, save the configuration once you save the configuration you just need to uh, click on the test just to ensure the authentication is happening through the radius server 
the status shows as success which means the authentication request is been accepted by the radio server in our case the radio server would be cisco ice and then in the step five click on the devices platform settings this is where you are going to assign the radius authentication policy or radius authentication object into your uh, ftd device i have the uh, platform setting policy created for my ftd under which you just need to um, edit in your case since you are adding it newly click on the new policy thread different setting name whatever you want and then the select the device what you wanted to uh, apply the policy and then click save post that click on the once you're on the uh, specific uh, policy select the external authentication type so since the external authentication type already created in the previous step all you just need to click on enable that's it then you have to uh, deploy the policy to the devices where you wanted to apply this policy let's verify the access yes i'm able to log into the uh, ftd device by using my uh, active directory user id through radius protocol and it's successful we can able to verify similar logs under radius live log for my user id and this is the authorization policy that we have created and then this is the device where i have uh, logged in right now click on the detailed report it says 5200 authentication succeeded that's it thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video is useful for you um, We'll meet in the next video.